Hello again and welcome back everybody to another edition of the Rural Report. I am your Rural 2IC and I have been getting asked and asked and asked and I have promised so I'm going to partially keep my promise uh, to do a video on flashlights. Now I have been waiting because I have ordered a uh, new flashlight um, and some parts to kind of fix my old flashlights. Uh, some of them are a little hard to get parts and actually the new one is stuck in transit the parts there went on back order i hoped to have them in by now because it's actually been weeks and i i still have nothing so um i wanted to do at least a touch on flashlights and i apologize because this may feel like i'm kind of cheating a little bit but um this will give a little bit of an insight because again this channel is for the people that are new to preparedness so this will hopefully demonstrate a little bit of um just some different flashlights that's out there uh, and what I did in this one I'm going to showcase five different flashlights so these are going to be flashlights these are going to be something that you can hold in your hand so these are not going to be any special glove thing weapon mount headlamp anything like that these are going to be what you would actually hold in your hand as a flashlight now I picked all of these off on Amazon I screenshot them so that way you can see a picture of what I'm talking about, as well as a little description, as well as the price. And since this is for new preppers, a lot of us don't really have a ton of money. And so I tried to not pick like the absolute cheap dollar flashlight, but I wanted to pick something that's pretty happily decent, got decent reviews, and I've either had them in the past, currently have them, or am looking at getting for myself. Um, so without further ado, let's start with number one. So right here, this is the Driver Wish, which is a rechargeable LED uh, Link Light 2 Focus. Now, this one here, as you can see, this is a little bit on the smaller end, uh, more of a compact. So not real, real tiny, but this is more of a compact flashlight. Now, this one is saying straight off the website that this comes with 300,000 lumens, which is extremely bright. Uh, it does come with five different modes. Uh, they're saying it's waterproof. Now, this one does come with a USB Type-C recharger port. So that way, uh, most of us anyway, especially if you have Android, everything's taking Type-C, which is amazing because uh, just about everything you have in your house. It's kind of like the iPhone. You know, everything takes an iPhone charger. Well, now everything's taking a type C on the other charger. So now you can kind of have, you know, one or two cords and charge multiple things with the same cord. Uh, so that makes it uh, a very nice kind of addition to this. Now, um, one of these I don't have, I have held one of these. I have a friend that has one. I like them. I'm currently kind of investigating if I want to get one. If you would like one, uh, you can go over to Amazon. If you shop Amazon, uh, and as you can see, the price point there is $21.99. So $22 is not a bad deal for a pretty good flashlight. Now, if you are in the market because you say, hey, that's too small, I'm looking for something a little bit bigger. Well, there is the Amalite, which is the XP or XHP90. Now, this one here boasts a more impressive 900,000 lumen. Uh, this also is LED. This has a zoomable feature, so you are able to adjust the light for a narrow or a more broad floodlight style. Now, they are also saying that this is waterproof. The only thing is, is this current one, I kind of looked around, but this one takes the micro USB and not the type C. So, uh, you know, that's a little kind of a negative on my end. I'd rather be a type C. Uh, I'm not sure if they put one out. I didn't find one, but then again, I didn't actually look, uh, you know, spend an hour trying to find it. Um, but uh, this one is not that much more expensive. This one does come in at $31.99. So $32 for, uh, you know, a bigger uh, flashlight. It's not bad. Not bad. Now, moving over, so, and this next one is the Simpeak. And this one I've shown actually comes as a two pack. So this one is chargeable manually. So you can hand crank this one, but it does come with a small solar panel for a solar charge. 
The, the reason why I like these is that these do come with built-in carabiners, so you are able to hang them while they're not in use, and the solar panel can get to work, or you can use it as kind of like a lantern, you know, it'll shine down while you are working on things, or you know, setting up a tent, or anything along those lines. Um, you can turn them on, and you can crank, and the light will actually work as you crank, so... Uh, you know, it, technically, as long as you crank, it will stay lit. Uh, those LEDs, they've taken care of, I mean, they're going to last an awful long time. Now, if uh, this matters to you, uh, not only are they lightweight, but as you can see, they do come in multiple different colors. Now, that is a little bit important. I know there's a bunch of people out there, especially when you're new, uh, you know, match is match you you will get everything in black or od green or coyote brown or tan or whatever um you know you, you want your things to match there's no harm in it especially if it's not more money uh if, if everything i have is black then why don't i pick black and have it match so, you know that's not going to make it function any better or anything like that but uh, it's just an option you can get different colors now you can do that for a variety of reasons. You can do a thing of, um, you know, the, the camping ones are blue. The ones that go into the, uh, the vehicle are green. The one that goes in the bug out bag are blue. You know, you can do different things like that. Uh, so you can color code, you know, different ones mean different things or, or anything along those lines. So, uh, but as you can see here, price point is fifteen fifty nine. But remember that is for a two pack, so that is uh, a pretty good deal. Uh, I actually have some of these, so I do enjoy them. I like them. Um, you don't have to get necessarily a name brand, but that style they, they they're really good. Next is the Mezcool Lantern. Now I know somebody's going to probably keyboard warrior and go, that's not a flashlight, it's a lantern. Well, it's handheld, okay? So that's why I included it, because I did want to include a lantern in this. Now, this also does come in different, available, uh, or is available in different colors. Uh, some people that's important, some people it's not, but, uh, you know, you can accessorize. Uh, this also comes with the hand crank and the solar charging ability. Uh, they are boasting that this does have 23 to 26 hours of life on just the lantern itself. And the reason why is because this one actually works a little bit kind of like a battery pack that you are able to charge other devices off this. So that would actually come in handy for a variety of reasons. But as you can kind of see in the picture, uh, this does come in at $23.99. So again, you know, under 25 bucks, not bad for a lantern, but, you know, a lantern would be great because not only can you carry it and, and give you that kind of flood ability where you can kind of give uh, 360 around you, give you some light, uh, but you're able to hang it, set it down. You're able to do a lot of things with it. It's my one to include it because a lot of people like lanterns. Now, rounding out the top five, this is the Leeton Emergency uh, Radio Combo. Now, I don't have this brand name. I have a different brand name, but uh, I really like these. I know that these are, whatever reason, controversial. Uh, people say that these are cheaper end ones. You can get way better ones, all that. Uh, that that's up for you to decide. Um, I personally have one of these, just in a different brand. Uh, they are solar. Uh, they do have the hand crank feature as well. Uh, the radio is a NOAA AM uh, FM. It works. I have one. Uh, actually, I used to just take it with me fishing every time that I went out. Uh, this does come with uh, a three LED flashlight. Um, it's actually pretty bright for what it is. Uh, now, this also doubles as a power bank. And uh, so, you know, it's one of the reasons why I took it fishing. You were able to have that thing fully charged up, and then you can take your phone, plug your phone in, listen to the radio, uh, keep your phone charged, things like that. Uh, they're small, they're lightweight, they're pretty waterproof, they're rugged. I've dropped mine a hundred times probably, bumped into them, they've gotten wet, I've left them outside. The thing's still going strong, so I, I can't say anything bad about them. Plus, for the price point, as you can see on this one, this one is $14.99, so $15 for a radio, a flashlight, a uh, power bank. I mean, how much is a decent power bank right now? You know, so uh, I recommend having one of those. If you don't like one, that's okay. Don't get one. If you're kind of interested, you know, here, here's a good thing. Now, before I get somebody, because I know I will, they're going to say, well, those were all the cheap ones. You know, I don't want a cheap flashlight. 
never fear because right before I signed off on my search, I went ahead and I went to the very top and I put in flashlight and I clicked the little button on uh, sort and I put highest to lowest and I clicked the very first one that popped up. And uh, right here next to me is the IMA length, which is the SR32 flashlight. I will let you read all about it if you want. I'm not going to take the time to read and do all that because, as you can see right there, I'm not spending seven or $679.95 on a flashlight. But it has reviews, it has sold, people have bought it, and uh, there you go. Um, I will not be owning one of those anytime soon, and more than likely ever, unless they uh, that company sees my channel and goes, hey, we want to give you a flashlight. <sighs> Yeah, I, I, I will probably never promote a $700 flashlight. I don't care how big it is. It, it better be a flashlight that's uh, attached to uh, an underground bunker or something for that kind of money. But, uh, okay, there we go. There's my video on uh, flashlights. I know it's kind of a little bit of a cheat, but it is a video about flashlights. I promised I would get it out. I still promise I will do it. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to do it because, I mean, I've got one right here. I've always got flashlights lying around. It's hard to do a video when it comes to flashlights because all I can do is do this. You really have no idea, you know, how much it weighs, how big it is. Uh, I can do this. So what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to shine it at you? Because, I mean, every flashlight's probably going to dim the, the screen out and things. I mean, I can do it like this and show you they work. Uh, flashlights are a little difficult. Um... I mean, I can show you the different modes. I can show you, you know, hey, they're zoomable. It's got one LED. Uh, you know, I can do things like that. But um, it's it's very difficult, at least on my end, to do this. You know, at least kind of an inside sort of a thing. But um, I'm still trying to figure it out. And once I figure out a way to really showcase it to where I can get my point across and all that, because... Keep in mind, I'm not affiliated with anybody, and so uh, I'm not trying to sell you this exact flashlight. You must do this, or else when the world ends, you're not going to make it. Uh, no, I just want to demonstrate, hey, um, if you don't have a flashlight, go get a flashlight. That's my whole point. Whatever one you get, that's up to you. You fit the one that fits your needs and your lifestyle and your budget point. As long as you have a decent, durable, reliable flashlight, I don't care who it's by. I don't care how much you paid for it. I don't care what color it is. Okay. That's all on you. I just want you to have a flashlight. So, uh, but again, that's what I've got for you today. Uh, I hope you guys got a little something out of that. It's a little bit out of the norm of what I normally do, but I, I do enjoy doing these and, and making these ones. So, but there you go. So if you made it this far in the video, you rock. Thank you very much. If you guys want to see uh, different other stuff, just let me know down in the comments. Send me an email, whatever. Um, we'll see what happens. And uh, with that, stay tuned. More information to come. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. God bless. Love each and every single one of you. And remember, above everything else, remember to remain united. Because we're all prepping in this together.